Hi Collective, welcome to the channel, Cosmic Divine Dreamer. So it's another love reading because I'm really feeling love is in the air. <laughs> so I'm doing some shorts for um, picking up on different readings. So this is um, the love oracle cards, right? So we're going to see collectively what is going on. So you are guided to this. It's here for you for a reason. The snake. See, I wanted some beautiful readings, right? First one I did uh, that ended up turning into being almost an hour was about like somebody wearing a false mask, being deception, being deceptive. But I was like, somebody's like shedding their skin and coming out of deception. And it's not always as you would think. Sometimes people are hiding things because of their own insecurities. So I went on, you know, a long reading about that. Then I did a very beautiful reading about a love, a higher level soulmate coming in. So this, this reading is following this, right? Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, and the other woman. Wow. For some of you, you just... Somebody's just got other options, but you're going to have to decide if it's because of their own insecurities. Are they just talking to them and keeping them an option? Because that's what I'm feeling. And that's what I talked about. It's like... So it could be getting revealed to you that someone's been talking to other like other women, keeping them as options because maybe they were afraid you were doing the same, right? Or you were going to leave them or something like that. There's going to be like this reveal. I mean, you got to trust your friend. This is the second time now they've showed the paradise card. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. There is a chance for some of you to heal something. I mean, somebody was just being malicious and, ugh, but they're, I feel that maybe this is how they were in the past. Maybe they were, this is like a player energy. In the past, they always had options available, but now they're very much in love with you and they're just, they've always kept these options and maybe they're starting to, to release them, like shedding the skin, letting them go. Meeting conversations, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted friendship. See hand of cards, take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand. Maybe for some of you, sometimes you got to get the player at the game. <laughs> sometimes you got to play the game, right? I'm getting for some of you, maybe you need to talk and have fun. Because, you know, we got the coffee cup, meeting conversation, savoring the moment, feeling. It's just friendship, though. I'm not saying go be a hoe. <laughs> but just uh, keep our options open. Um, Show them that you can play the same game. Uh, <laughs> maybe for some of you, that's how you're going to attract a higher level. So maybe for some of you, this is going to ignite passion and show you that maybe what you were in really wasn't love or something or get you to realize how much you do love your lover. Um, that's why sometimes like breaks are good, right? Because sometimes it gets you to really, like, realize, is it worth fighting for this? Was I addicted to this person? Was I being strung along? Are they leaving me heartbroken? Or did this transform me? Because you'll be looking at photographs and things like that. Mirroring each other. Chaser. I did see the runner. This could very much be a twin flame connection for some of you. There's some of you there. It needs to be divinely guided separations, right? Um... Sometimes that triggers the next level of ascension and healing, right? Because they are showing me a relationship evolving to the next level, healing of the inner child and growth. Because for some of you, you could have been dealing with abandonment issues. So you could have been in this situation like, I'm going to stay in this situation because like this person loves me and I don't want to be all alone or whatever. But you might, you might have this mindset that maybe they're having insecurities and they're stringing you along and getting away and playing these games so they don't really honor you but if there's a separation and they lose you it's really going to put them in this place like wow yeah i really love that i really love them they're they are my person so i'm gonna quit playing games i'm gonna step up i'm gonna do this but without that separation or ending or whatever it wouldn't transform them so sometimes those transformations can be beneficial like i say this is kind of what i'm getting right and they're showing me coffins endings bring new beginnings growth change liberation either way i'm feeling that there's an ending to an old cycle so there's this new beginning because they're showing me the mirroring card i've seen the runner the chaser yeah look can't make it up twin flames this is definitely twin flame dynamic 
very strongly coming through, but it's the karmic relationship for some of you. A twin flame is coming in and you were stuck in a karmic relationship. So sometimes you need that breathing room to figure out what this is. Girl with the snake, yep, empath and narcissist uh, paradigm. Because for some of you, you track that. Narcissists uh, really get empaths to level up and to get out of that people-pleasing energy because it really breaks them. It takes a narcissist to get narcissists love empaths, right? They're attracted to them, all right? Because they look like they're easily manipulated and things like that and can be controlled. But an empath will set a narcissist straight and a narcissist will get an empath to get empowered enough to reclaim their own power energy and protect it. And to know that, yeah, I absorb, but transmute, release, let go, because that will really break an empath to, to stand up. So there are a lot of false twins that come in in karmic relationships in this exact paradigm, but it's part of preparation, okay? And they have to, unfortunately, get close to you to do, to do the, for it to work, right? Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost grieving morning rain so somebody is going to be feeling heartbroken i'm getting it's the karmic keys on a ring many options because for some of them they were playing games with you many options decisions um string along one night stands they could be indulging in those but just because this card came out don't feel as though they are unless you know you will know don't go looking for it addictions told you codependent obsession possession controlling has a block and restraint so Somebody's definitely dealing with addictions here. It could have been physical. Physical can lead to other things too. Um, but there, for a lot, of, it's like a mindset and it's just patterning, right? Especially like if they had inner child woundings, if they had abandonment issues as a child, not feeling loved enough, or just sometimes it's that first relationship that can really destroy you, right? At a young age and, or at any age really. But they're showing me wedding rings. So for some of you, there are reconciliations and, you know, and sometimes these breaks and can get you to transform. That's why I say that karmic relationships can be healed by um, closing out the karma. And they can evolve to higher level relationships, right? With with healing. and um, They're showing me healing heart, healing from heartbreak. But see, it's like you need to heal from something and then free from a toxic relationship or addiction. For some of you, you're getting out of a relationship that was toxic. And you're going to be healing your heart with a higher level soulmate. Because it often takes real love to come in to fully heal that, right? So don't think you have to be fully healed. You just have to have enough love for yourself and be elevated enough to for that next level. So, Alright guys, I'm leaving this one here with the Love Oracle cards. Definitely feel free to take a look at whatever readings you feel guided to. I'm going to be doing a bunch of different styles and things like that. I really feel I need to showcase a lot of my a lot of my decks and work with them. I know I've been really focused on, on certain ones, certain ways. So, I'm trying to open up more, show more of my gifts <laughs> and be more of the beautiful Oracle reader that I am. All right, love and light to all of you. Bye, guys.